So before we get into it, uh, what I first want to talk about is, is, is getting comfortable in your playing position. And the more comfortable you are, the better you're going to be able to feel what it is that you're playing. You know, I, I had spoken to a, a drummer buddy of mine who's an awesome hand uh, percussionist and uh, musician in general named Mino Sinalu. And I asked him about keeping the groove. And the first thing he said to me was be rooted in your posture and make sure that you're comfortable. Um, because, you know, maybe if you're, if you're up like this and you're uptight, that's not going to give your... Uh, have you to feel free to feel the rhythm that's happening. So firstly, you know, being comfortable in your posture and, and the next thing is having an internal rhythm with your body that's keeping time with the, what you're playing. Um, sometimes that can come from your wrist, uh, from patting your foot, nodding your head, or, or or moving your shoulders or whatever it is that helps you to feel the beat. But the groove is a king and you must always be keeping time. Um, so once we get into this uh, next uh, few examples, uh, what we're going to be looking at is keeping the right hand constantly in motion. We're going to be doing chicken scratching and, and having a loose wrist. And one thing that helps me uh, with my rhythm playing is that um, you know, I used you know the classic Fender style pick, but um, but I play on the fatter round side, and for me that gives a, a smoother feel uh, for rhythm playing, and um, and that's you know that's that works great for me. And so if you're finding that your rhythm playing is feeling stiff, and you've been playing on the pointy side of your pick, maybe try uh, the the fatter, you know round side of the pick. It's going to give, it gives a smoother um, attack. And the other thing to look at is your, your left hand technique. So imagine that your frets are hot. And what I mean is that every time you push the strings down, they're, they're, once they touch the frets, they're so hot that you got to jump off because you don't want to get your hand burnt. And, and that's going to make those voicings pop when you're doing, you know, 16th note patterns and things that make, uh, you know, a typical kind of a funk groove. And, and what I mean by that is when you hit the chord, you jump right off, you know. And I don't mean jumping off in a way like, whoa, letting the whole guitar ring. Of course, that's not what I'm talking about. But just that it's tight. You know, so that's going to make those 16th note rhythms tight and they're, they're going to pop out. And these are some of the fundamental things that we want to, you know, keep in mind as we're proceeding with, you know, keeping your body posture, you're comfortable. Something's always keeping time, particularly with your, 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 your right hand rhythm, that it's always got some motion to it. And uh, now, we, now let's open it up. 